Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna cover as usual the Bitcoin price. We're also gonna have a look into Ethereum because we are breaking the $3,000 level. So we are in blue sky breakout. And at the end we're also gonna have a look into the DXY and NASDAQ. So Bitcoin, we're going to start with Bitcoin. As you can see, finally bounced at this important moving average here in the four hour time frame. Yesterday, I told you, my friends, that it will be very bullish if we are able to bounce here at the 20 moving average in the four hour time frame. We also got a nice buy signal in the three hour time frame because over in Discord, we are trading usually here the three hour time frame. And even this buy signal in the daily time frame after this bottom here of $48,000 so far played perfectly out. So congratulations to everyone that is longing right now. But keep in mind that we are right now approaching our last potential critical point here of $61,000. Since we are pushing higher now above these $57,500, I'm pretty confident that we are about to go and test the $61,000. And then we're going to see if here we're going to create a lower high or if also here in Bitcoin, we're going to see follow through to the upside towards new all time highs. So I'm pretty bullish here for Bitcoin if we are able to push higher than $61,000. So both the 0.786 Fibonacci retracement and of course also start to close daily candles again above the Keltner channels, which as you can see right now is giving us huge resistance. So you can see that in this indicator, this trend line here right at the top of around $59,000 gives us right now a lot of confluence. So as soon as we are able to close daily candles above the Keltner channels, I'm pretty confident that we are out of the woods and we're going to see big parabolic moves to the upside. Same like we are seeing right now over on Ethereum. Um, here the four hour is looking extremely bullish and I'm expecting here continuation to the upside. We still have a lot of room left also here in the four hour time frame. And if we go over in the daily time frame, here you can see that we are successfully bouncing right now from the EMA ribbons and of course also from the 20 daily moving average. This is what we wanted to see. And after this nice buy signal that we got, we are right now again above the 50 level in the RSI. We are bouncing from it and that's why we still have a lot of room left to the upside. And in theory, we should have a nice follow through here above $61,000 and we could see something similar like over on Ethereum where we are approaching the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level and if Bitcoin would copy Ethereum, if Bitcoin would follow up with the price action that we're seeing on Ethereum, I think $80,000 is very likely to come here for Bitcoin in the not so distant future if we are able to take out this potential resistance here of around $61,000. Also, we had a very nice uh, weekly close above the previous week's opening. So we closed this weekly candle yesterday above $56,000, extremely bullish. We are back above the nine moving average in the weekly time frame. So if this week we can confirm this moving average as a new support right here at around $56,600. Also here, the weekly time frame is looking again extremely bullish. And after this bullish reset here, and also after bringing down the RSI very close to the 50, level we could see some big explosive moves to the upside as well and then of course continue our parabolic bull run so everything is pointing out that we are about to go completely parabolic to the upside similar like over on ethereum but the only last thing that still need to be broken here is the $61,000 potential resistance here and of course also start to close daily candles above the Keltner channels because as long as we're trading below this trend line there is still a high chance that we could get rejected here even if we see a week to the upside so watch out for the daily closes. They need to be again above $60,000 in order to have explosive moves to the upside. If here we are getting rejected, that could be a bearish sign that this could be ending up in a lower high. And then of course we should expect the price to go at least down again towards 50K to potentially retest this region. And maybe then we even gonna see lower prices. But if we are able to close daily candles above 60K, then we should be out of the woods. And then also we should expect big fireworks to the upside, same like we're seeing right now over on Ethereum. 
and we can switch over to ethereum right now because as you can see we have a blue sky breakout we are breaking above this huge resistance that we can see here in the daily and weekly time frame so this is now the daily time frame and as you can see we were in this channel here for quite some time and right now we have here a successful breakout to the upside and i told you that if bitcoin is gonna copy ethereum so if bitcoin is also able to create new all-time highs i'm pretty confident that also bitcoin will reach the 1.618 fibonacci extension level from this correction phase that we had here in the last couple of days and weeks and easily reach the adk level potentially also overshoot it to the upside same like we're seeing it right now on ethereum so since we are here in no man's land no one can tell you where we are going next because we never have been so high here on ethereum we can just have a look on the fibonacci extension levels and here the next steps after breaking here this 3k resistance is of course here the 2.618 fibonacci extension at three thousand five hundred dollars and then afterwards four thousand dollars so those are my targets here for the short to midterm if we are able to continue to go higher we're gonna see of course uh, some pullbacks to the downside to potentially retest these new supports here at around 3k but if we are able to see follow through to the upside those would be my next potential targets that could act as a potential local resistance before we had higher level by level so on ethereum we are still looking extremely bullish on all time frames like we have been now since many days and weeks and i just want to show you that here in the weekly time frame if we go back in time here from this last cycle top here at 1430 dollars and the bottom here in this bear market of 77 dollars you can see that the 1.618 fibonacci extension level is right at 8650 dollars and the same fibonacci extension level over on bitcoin is at 62000 dollars and that's why i think this 8650 dollars could be a potential target for ethereum before we're gonna see some kind of local top like we're seeing maybe right now over on a bitcoin so i think 8650 dollars could be a very realistic potential target for ethereum here before we're gonna see any kind of bigger correction so keep that in mind this eight thousand six hundred fifty dollars this would be exactly the same fibonacci extension level like we had in 2017 to 2020 over on bitcoin so right now we are seeing ethereum going completely parabolic and all time frames are still looking extremely bullish we also have money flow that is extremely increasing and uh, that's why i still think that after breaking these potential next targets here up to five thousand dollar that we even could see here a big moonshot towards eight thousand six hundred fifty dollars and maybe there we're gonna get some problems similar like we are seeing right now over on bitcoin so eight thousand six hundred fifty dollars right now is my target for ethereum for the next potential local top before we're gonna get any kind of bigger corrections but of course on the way to the upside we're gonna see often uh, pullbacks and everything of course is also going to be depending what bitcoin is doing because if bitcoin is gonna create here a lower high that of course uh, could stop the run for ethereum towards this bullish target but if bitcoin is just going sideways here or maybe is also able to create new all-time highs here and continue here same like on ethereum our parabolic bull run towards adk and potential even higher level Levels, then I think it's very likely that over on Ethereum we're gonna see prices above $8,000 in the not so distant future. Especially at the end of a rally, we always have the biggest gains and the biggest moves in the market, and that's why I think we're gonna see now big explosive moves to the upside or we're gonna just go sideways or a little bit lower especially here for bitcoin but if we are able to create new all-time highs i'm pretty confident that also here we're gonna see explosive moves to the upside similar like we are seeing right now on ethereum we of course still have some warning signs in the bigger time frames like in the monthly as i told you all in many videos already but all patterns in bigger time frames such as the monthly time frame always takes a long time to play out and that's why until then we could see first Bitcoin going completely parabolic to the upside before those patterns could play out. 
And another little warning sign is over here on the DXY, because as you can see, we had here a big push above the 100 daily moving average. I told you that down here at around $90, we could have some huge support and a nice bounce to the upside here in the DXY to go up to retest the 20 daily or even the 200 daily moving average at around $92, because we are still in this ascending broadening wedge. And if the DXY would have here a push to the upside and push towards the 200 daily moving average at $92, we could maybe get one more leg down in the crypto or stock market before we had higher. And the good thing would be that if here we are getting heavily rejected, the chances are very high that we're going to return back down to $90. And if we're going to have a breakout to the downside from this bearish ascending broadening wedge, then we could see big fireworks to the upside in the crypto and stock market because the DXY would be then in free fall. And if we would lose here the support of $90, that would be a catastrophe for the US dollar index, but very, very much in favor for the crypto and stock market. And that's why we could see a huge move to the upside in all asset classes besides the US dollar index, of course. And talking about stock market, let's go over to Nasdaq because uh, as you can see, we got for now supported right here at the 20 daily moving average, right at the bottom of our support here of $30,800. So as long as we're closing daily candles above this important support and price level, the chances are still very, very high that here also we could have a big breakout to the upside above the resistance that we still have here at $14,000. And that will mean that then we're going to have the play out of this sending triangle here and the breakout target could take us easily here towards $14,600. And I think if we were able to break out here successfully to the upside, we even could reach $15,000 here in the Nasdaq mini futures. So watch out also for this potential breakout here in Nasdaq, because if Nasdaq is able to push higher here, we definitely also going to see big fireworks to the upside here in the Bitcoin price. So with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Check out also all my referral links down below here to Binance, Femex and so on. They give you some extra bonus and some extra money if you use my referral links. And if you want to try out trading bots on your exchanges, then check out Bitscap. They are very profitable. You can run all kinds of trading bots pairs on your exchanges. Like this, you can generate some passive money. And of course, you can do also arbitrage if you have enough exchanges. So definitely go and check out Bitscap. They are offering to our community the pro plan for 14 days completely for free. If it's paying out for you, you can upgrade to a monthly plan, which is starting for only $19 a month. So usually you should get this money very easily back within one month. So definitely go and claim this 14 days trial completely for free. You don't have to put any deposit, nothing. Just connect your exchanges to this platform and then you can run those trading bots. I also did a tutorial. It's popping up at the end of this video. And a big shout out goes also to our crypto trading chat on Discord. If you want to get access to our Discord trading chat, check out the invitation link in the description. Then go here to read first and click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're human and not a bot. Like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And of course, this is also the place where you can get access to my indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin. A small donation is needed, so you have to contact me straight here on Discord. Otherwise, just get a YouTube membership and contact me also over on Discord. So thank you again very much for watching, my friends, and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.